Oh, okay. He may look cute, but what he was saying wasn't cute at all. Wh what do you mean by what he was saying, Luke? That's right, Miss Faye. Luke can understand what animals are saying. Wow, that's amazing. It's like magic. Luke, you have magic powers just like the witches do. Um, uh, given the curved circumstances, I'm not so sure that's a good thing. I wish I could talk to animals. I'd love to talk to a puppy or even to a spellless cat, Eve. That puppy's way of thinking reminded me a lot of Inquisitor Barnum. He said something like, I'll only say this once, Sir Blue Knight. I, Constantine, do not permit you to stroke me. Or words to that effect. Hmm, so the dog's name is Constantine, huh? Hmm, perhaps that could have been Inquisitor Barnum's dog. I'm sure of it. He ran off in the direction of the Inquisitor's Hall. Maybe he's going to meet his master. That dog is just like his owner, constant. Constantly barking, constantly biting Nick, and constantly adorable. So, Moya, you, re you mean you really believe in my ability? Trust me, Luke. When it comes to people and their special abilities, nothing surprises me. I have a few myself, you know. Okay, then. Let's get back to the bakery. Come on, Nick. Let's go. I think I've been bitten enough for one night by dog and his owner. <laughs> okay, I believe there's coins here. Hold on, where's my uh, stylus? Uh -huh. Where the hell is the other coin? Ah! The bushes. Aha! Alright, let's go back and look for coins here. I don't think I did. I rode to the court. Ah, over here in the grass. Hmm. Ah, I found it. Aha! Good stuff. All right, now let's go back to town, back to the bakery. Phoenix, Moya, why are you back so late? That's the wrong voice. I'm trying to remember what her voice was. Shit. I think I, I think it was like this. Yes, I think it was. Uh, yeah. Sorry, we're so late. It's just that. Well, we uh about a spella. <laughs> what are you two doing so glum about? I was so surprised. Huh? Just how is it that you could do such a brilliant job as a defender? It was wonderful the way you proved this fella innocent. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, not at all. No need to thank me. After all, the spell is still. I know, Phoenix. Oh, uh, were you watching the trial? I certainly was, Maya. There's no reason for you to look so grim. The way you stood up to the Inquisition, uh, in all my life I've never seen anything like it. That outstretched arm, that pointed finger, it was truly a sight to behold, Phoenix. Boss. That's why I'm not at all worried. Huh? Because I believe in you, Phoenix. Aw, oh, she believes in him. And I know you'll rescue a speller again. Alright. Ho oh, ho ho, that's a promise now, you hear? Now then, you must both be tired after all you've been through. You must have a good rest, and that means you two gentlemen as well. Oh, uh, do you mean us? Of course. Why, if it hadn't been for you two, Phoenix would have been couldn't have done what he did. Thank you, madam. Perhaps I should bring out other extra large loaf for our young apprentice here. Whoa. Uh, no, I mean I'm fine, really. But thanks for the offer. 
Nick, we have to give it all we've got for the boss's sake. You got that right. It might be difficult to answer the rest tonight after a trial like that. But tonight, perhaps we could all try to get a good rest as Miss, Mrs. Sinclair suggests. I agree, Professor. Tomorrow's a new day after all. It's good with Soy, then. If we don't take that rest, we won't be able to do our best tomorrow. I hope Spell is able to, to, to rest to not for tonight as well. Blah, I'm stumbling over the words. Nothing, huh? Silence. <laughs> Okay, I don't think there's going to be any new uh, coins here or anything. Well then, let's all turn in for the night. Alright, there they go, they turn in. Is that you, Moya? Hey, Luke. What's the matter? Can't sleep? I kind of woke up, but then I guess you did too, right? You're worried about a speller, aren't you? Yeah. After all, you were living here together. It must be like a member of the family. But you and Mr. Roy found yourselves here in Labyrinthia just like me and the professor, didn't you? Seems that way, even though we're supposedly been living here for five years now. But those memories don't exactly turn out to be real. I got no idea how I even had that kind of memory in the first place. On top of that, even the boss seemed to have the exact memory of us. He's, she's done so much to take care of us. When I think about it, I can't but help feel like we're deceiving her, you know? I don't think you have any reason to feel that way, Moya. It's not your fault your memories have changed. And even if the memories are different, I'm sure your feelings for Mrs. Eclair and Espella are real. You're so right, Luke. Thanks, Luke. I feel way better now. Uh, not at all. It's nothing. All right. I'm going to try real hard to get my beauty sleep. I'll be out faster than you can say goodnight. I'm not sure beauty is achieved by sleeping, or that sleep is something you can try hard at, but I'm definitely ready to sleep. Uh, Moya, did you just say something? Me? I didn't say anything. But I'm sure I heard something. Maybe it was from outside. Wonder what it was. Let's go and have a look, Luke. Hey, isn't that Patty over there? It looks like she's searching for something. Me. Where could the cat have gone? Oh, she's looking for the cat. I thought I didn't understand what that sound was. I was like, huh? <laughs> What's she trying to say? She doesn't normally go wandering off at this time of night. I suppose you're worried about Espella too, aren't you? Espella. I wonder what she's doing right now. Is she crying herself to sleep? Don't worry, Espella. You've got friends here. We're going to make sure you come home to us safely. And when you do, we'll all sit down and have a nice dinner together. Boss? She's worrying too... Uh, uh, excuse me. She's worrying too much about her Spella. She looks sad. She really does. It must be so hard for her. Maya, I got a great idea. Let's go and find E for her. If Ease isn't back by the time Spella comes home, she miss her for sure. And Mrs. Eclair could relax a little too. Luke, you're a little genius. Let's go and find E for Spella and Patty. But I wonder where she could have gone. We'll provide find we'll we'll probably find her quicker if we look around a bit, if we ask around a bit. God, I'm stumbling over these words tonight. Eve is easy to recognize. She looks quite distinctive and have a scarf around her neck. I'm sure someone must have seen her. Correction, you're not just a little genius, you're a super mega huge genius. 
All to nothing. I mean, I am the professor's apprentice. Let's get the show on the road. How about we start by looking into the town center? Brought you home, Maya, but we better take care since we'd be in the streets at night. Don't worry, though. If anything happens, you can rely on me. It's the job of every gentleman to protect the lady. Let's go, Moya. As a grown-up here, I can't help but feel it, it, it should be me who's doing the protecting. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we gotta go to the... Central Square, correct? the Great Archive. Town Center. This is where she said to go. Town Center. Okay. 